We're continuing on with our word of the week that's related to uh, gas metal arc welding uh, gun parts or flux core arc welding gun parts or mega uh, gun uh, parts. We started off with contact tip, that's probably the most basic, then we went uh, gas diffuser, and now we're at nozzle. A lot of people incorrectly call this a gas cup. Uh, the correct term if you're ordering your gas cup is nozzle. It's a nozzle, that's what it's called. There's two different types of nozzles you can get. One threads in so you just screw it onto the gun and the other one has a um, it's like a compression fitting that you can just pop it on and off. Now that compression fitting is actually called an insulator. So that's the correct term for that compression fitting. So now your insulator will thread on just like if your uh, nozzle was threading on. This threads on and then it's got little rings around it that compress the actual nozzle on there so it can't fall off. A couple prices. We need a Miller and a Lincoln. One is $1.92, the other one is $2.88. And at the end here we'll go out and we'll look at the two different um, guns and we'll show you one that's threaded and one that has an insulator here. Uh, so it's not real expensive. The actual nozzle, there's all kinds of different prices. Like I again looked up Lincoln and Miller and uh, they're kind of expensive. $6.96 uh, and $13.50. So those were the two prices I looked up for for the actual nozzle, so they're kind of expensive. Now, we're pulling this up here. Two different types we kind of already went over. You got threaded, then you got compression. Materials are different types of materials that the nozzle is made out of. Um, the most common, I would say, by far, are brass and copper. Um, there's also some that are silicon nitride ceramics. And the reason that they are making uh, uh, Nozzles out of ceramics is to try and get rid of this right here, issues, spatter. It won't stick to a ceramic like it will brass or copper. So let's kind of go over here to the issues. The number one issue by far is spatter. As your nozzle, as you're welding, your nozzle collects the spatter and it eventually it conglomerates on the end of the actual nozzle and then it restricts the flow of the gas. So if you're welding with a gas metal arc welder and all of a sudden you're getting porosity, you can't figure out why, you probably just have to clean out uh, your nozzle. The other thing is the spatter can actually get down into the nozzle and it'll short out the actual nozzle. So when you touch the nozzle to like a piece of steel, for instance, it'll arc out on the nozzle because the spatter is down in connecting this stuff. It's not insulated, like we're talking about that insulator. It's not insulated to keep the electricity from going through the actual nozzle. That's another reason why a ceramic one will work, it's not going to conduct electricity and you know you won't get that short out on the cup. Other issues, cross thread. If you cross thread it, there goes your diffuser, there goes your nozzle, it's all it's all junk. So you're talking not a huge amount of money, but it's definitely money. Um, I wrote down wobble right here. Um, the wobble, what that is, is you get the insulator and, it, and the nozzle actually stretches out a little bit over use and abuse. And, um, it wobbles around a little bit on the actual insulator. What happens with that is you can restrict your um, your shielding. Uh, you can get you know kicked over to one side or the other. Also, with the wobble, um, it can actually loosen the, the nozzle up, so you can the nozzle can go out or it can go way up in, and then you can fuse your your contact tip. It's just sloppy, is what it is, and just causes some problems. Really, the only way to combat that is just get a new one. Um, down here I wrote tip tip. This actually isn't an issue. It is a combatant to the spatter. If you take the actual gun and you dip it into this, it's like a jar, and it looks kind of like, I don't know, like paste maybe, and you dip it in there, you get it hot first, you dip it in, then you hit the trigger, the shielding gas shoots the stuff back into the cup, and then it coats um, the nozzle so that the spatter doesn't stick to it. It's called anti-spatter is what it's called. Uh, we call it tip tip, but it's a little jug that you can dip, dip your actual gun in. And uh, a little tip is once you dipped it in, you shoot the excess back into the cup. You gotta weld a little bit on scrap because what'll happen is this tip tip will liquefy and go down into the weld and cause porosity. So you gotta burn it off a little bit in case there's some excess stuff. So you just create some heat by uh, welding on a piece of scrap real quick and then you go into what you're actually welding. So a tip tip's a good way to get rid of this spatter here. Um, the spatter issues actually. Eventually it burns up and you gotta do it again. So I think that covers what a nozzle is. So what we'll do is we'll go out in the lab and
and I'll uh, show the, the, the two types, the one that's threaded on there and the one that uses an insulator, which is uh, a compression fitting is what it is, that's what holds it on. So we'll go out in the lab and we'll check those two out and we'll, we'll head out of here. Okay, I found a, uh, an ESOB here. And this is the nozzle right here. And the insulator is right here. It's a little bit different than the one I was planning on showing you. I figured I'd show you because it was out already. And you can see the, the contact tips out of the diffuser. So this is your diffuser, and this is your insulator. This is the nozzle. Kind of a they're kind of different on ESOPs. Alright, so let's go find a uh, a different one here. I think it's on a Miller that we have the insulators that I was thinking of, so we'll check it out. This is the other um, uh, gun that has an insulator on it. This is the one I was thinking of, so we're going to go ahead and it's actually on a Lincoln, but that's the uh, insulator that I was talking about. These little rings are what hold the nozzle on. This is the nozzle. They're all pretty similar to each other, but yeah, that um, that insulator is what holds it on there. If I can get it on there with one hand, so get it on there like that, that's what holds it on. It's just compression. So those are the two basic insulators that have compression. So what we're going to do now is go find a threaded one. I tried to get rid of all the threaded ones because people keep cross threading them. But there's got to be one here somewhere, so I'm going to dig out a threaded one. This is the last one we're looking at here, the last nozzle. And you can see I'm just twisting this off. And this one actually, the threads, they almost look like acne threads. So let's see if we can get in there without getting blurry here. And what, eh, getting blurry. What they've done here is they've made it so that the threads are, are thicker, so you can't cross thread it as easily. If that makes sense. So you only got to unscrew it like three times and it pops right off. It's to combat the, the threading of the actual nozzle. So that's an example of one that, that threads on. I think we got one on the robot too. Let's go see if that one threads on. All right, this is off of a Fanuc 100i welding robot. And this is also threaded. And you can see that's a little bit tighter of a thread pattern. But anyways, that's what a nozzle is. You definitely need to know what a, what a nozzle is. It's not a gas cup, it's a nozzle. That's all we got for this week. Thanks for watching, subscribing to TV Well, and we're getting the heck out of here.